Welcome back to Homes Under The Hammer. We're here in Orpington at the property I purchased at auction. Let me show you on inside so you can see the finished project. All right, so first things first then, if we discuss the property, um, you'll notice that all of the doors have uh, pin operated entry. So you put a pin number in to get in, which just means that each room can be let to someone individually and they've got their own access to the property. So if you come through, um, this is one of the double bedrooms downstairs. It's a really good size um, and you've got everything that you need of a, a property of, uh, for, for, a, for a single person or potentially a couple to live here. So you've got good size double bed, um, bit of a nice setup there. All the furniture's from Ikea, I tend to just stick to Ikea. It's easy to put together and it lasts a long time. Telly on the wall, which is a really good feature. I know some people don't put tellies on bedroom, uh, in bedrooms, but because someone's effectively gonna have this room as their own little space, it's really nice to have a, a little telly on there as well that they can use. Every telly's got Netflix on it and it's all connected to the internet, which is really good. You've got blinds on the wall, um, which is great. Not very expensive to fit, but just a nice little feature. Radiator in every room. And one of the great features about uh, the way that we've done this setup is that every room can have uh, the temperature controlled by the person living in the bedroom. So they could set the temperature and change it to how they like it to be in the room. Mirror on the wall, which is essential for um, getting ready in the morning. Um, the type of tenants I like to go for are more professional people um, that are working and that uh, potentially will be getting ready and getting off to work. So mirrors are essential. So yeah, hope you like this room. Got a little desk in the room as well. I tend not to go for students, but I don't mind letting to students, but it's not normally my business model. Students um, want desks. So if people are studying, it's a great thing to do is put a desk and chair in so that they can, they can study as well. Let's go through. Right, you'll notice that there's a notice board. Uh, this is not ready yet, but what I, what I like to do to, to make sure the tenants feel comfortable with the property is that I will put um, things like gas safety certificates, EPCs, electrical installation certificates. I've even got details of, sort of when the bin collections are outside just to make things nice and easy for the tenants so they're comfortable and if there's any notices or emergency contacts that's all, all on the wall so people can feel comfortable. You've also got fire blanket and extinguisher. This is just a form of protection and just to make sure that people are safe. So let's go through. Uh, another temperature uh, changer here on the wall so you can change the temperature for the hallway and then you've got CCTV up there which will mean we can monitor who is going to come through the front door. That's the only CCTV camera in the property we just check who's coming in, in, in and out and it's really just for safety purposes we're not big brother we're not checking up on people so right um, come on in this is the bathroom downstairs bathroom it's got everything you'd want in the bathroom really it's a uh, tiled Nice big mirror on the wall. You've got toilet in here, and then you've got a lovely uh, big shower in there, um, which is a very usable space. So that's there. Take you on into the kitchen dining room area. Now I love this space. I just feel like we've tried to, without giving too much space away, we've managed to get create a nice little. Um, place for people to chill out and to also eat their, cook and eat their food as well. So we've got big telly on the wall. Um, again, that's got Netflix. It's plugged into the internet. You've got sofa in here as well, which is great. And then little lamp, dining table. It's kind of usable for six people, which is good. And then a lovely modern looking kitchen with everything that you'd want. Um, fridge freezer built in, which is great for saving space. You've got your oven, uh, microwave, everything you'd need, hob. We've also put in um, washing machine, integrated washing machine, and then you've got uh, a dishwasher built in as well. So what a privilege, eh, for tenants to have all of this in their property. But yeah, we like to look after our tenants and make sure they've got really lovely place that they can enjoy and hopefully they stay a long time if they like the environment they're in. So yeah, that's the kitchen. 
Um, really good little space there. This kitchen's from Wren. I used to use Howden's. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, uh, but I got a bit fed up with Howden's because they just kept on sending deliveries with the wrong orders and bits and pieces missing or damaged goods. And I've had that multiple times from them. So I found a really good contact at Wren and um, they managed to do me a fantastic deal on the kitchen. I'm not actually plugging them for business. I think there's lots of different good kitchen companies and you know you can try Magnet, Howden's, Wren and see who you get, get the best service from really. But I found that Wren did really good kitchen for me on this one. So, right, let's follow on upstairs then. We can have a look. Oh, this was just really a little bit of a bonus really. And um, I suppose what, what I did here is I just added a little downstairs toilet. And I hadn't planned to have that in the property. Having a downstairs toilet is great because if someone's using the upstairs bathroom, someone's using the downstairs bathroom, someone just wants to nip into the toilet, then that's a nice little bonus to have. Mirror on the wall. Um, my tenants that are moving in here have requested a mirror on the wall. It's not something I normally do. And um, they wanted to use that to get ready in the mornings and have a, a, a glance at their outfit. So, and then, You've got another uh, washing machine. This is actually a washer dryer. So again, provisioning for four people here that need to wash their clothes. And you know, if one washing machine is used, there's another one for someone to jump in and, and get used in that. Right, so if we pop on upstairs, I'll just knit your shoes off. Right, so if we go into, again, this is a, the next double bedroom. Pretty similar setup, again. Um, what I tend to do is every bedroom has its own color theme. So downstairs is blue, this room's purple. And what that does is it just uh, makes it easy for me to let the room and know which room I'm talking about. So you tend to just have sort of a similar theme in every room. It's all Ikea furniture, you've got your lamps picture on the wall, telly on the wall, another desk, blinds, all brand new carpet throughout. And I hope you agree, it looks pretty comfortable in here. I wouldn't mind living here if you get a good night's sleep from time to time. Um, right, let's go through. So this is the, the next room, which is slightly smaller, but still a good size. This is the yellow room. Um, you've got desk and chair again, blind on the wall, nice little setup, spotlights in every room. Uh, I also put uh, in, to make, to make sure it's uh, within regulations, I also put smoke detectors in every room. They're interlinked, which is really, really important. So if you're planning to do any type of uh, room let property or HMO or shared shared accommodation or anything like that, then most of the time you check the building regs and check whether um, you need that type of stuff. So all, all my properties have smoked, even if I'm actually letting to a family, I tend to put smoke detectors throughout the property. I just think it's really good practice and it's, it's safe for the tenant to make sure if something does happen that it's not you know, it's gonna be safe. I mentioned fire doors previously, but smoke detectors as well, equally important. So check them out. Uh, mirrors in every bedroom again. That's just so someone wants to get ready in the morning, you know, plug a hairdryer in, whatever you need to do. And another thing I started doing, this is actually a request from a tenant. So, um, you know, you've got hooks on the backs of the doors. So if they don't want to clog up the wardrobe with their coats, they can put someone here. And then also down underneath the beds, I put in drawers, um, which is a great little feature because there's not much room in a bedroom to have everything. And if you've got shoes and coats, and it can take up quite a lot of room. So it's a good little exercise to let the tenants stay, uh, store some of their shoes and stuff under the bed. And then this is the final room, which is the smallest of them all. It'll be a bit cozy with us both in here. Uh, you've got the green room, a bit smaller, but we've got everything we need in here. So you've got telly on the wall, wardrobe, chest of drawers, little bedside lamp table. And yeah, it's a bit more cozy. And it's a lot of the time with the smaller rooms, you do find them harder to let or you might find that you have to let them for less money, but it's one of those things you've got to compromise with space. What was really important for us in this property was to get the two bathrooms in 
and to try and get four bedrooms. We could have gone into the loft and done a loft extension and then tried to get some more bedrooms up there, um, but I was under time constraint on this property with a bridging loan, um, which I've done another video on bridging loans, which you can have a look at further down the line if you like. Um, yeah, that's pretty much this room. The dim I do dimmers in bedrooms, so we can dim down the lights, which is really nice. Um, just gives the tenant the ability to change the mood of the bedroom and chill out a bit if they want to. Cool. So yeah, come on down. It's the upstairs. Oh, actually, yeah, we could do this bathroom. Nearly missed that. Right. So, uh, second bathroom. Bath in this property instead of just having a shower. I thought it was a good idea to have a bath and a shower in the property. And the main reason for that really is, should I ever decide to sell this property as a, a family home or potentially as a HMO type property, then I've got both options for you know, the ability to have a bath and to have um, a shower on its own as well. So that works really well. Obscured glass at the front, which is regulation to have that in bathrooms fan on the wall to deal with the condensation and mold and that type of issue that you tend to get within bathrooms. Yeah, let's, let's crack on. So, um, if we pop on, pop on outside and I can show you the front and the rear of the property so you can see what we've done. In terms of the exterior of the property, we've given it a nice good lick of white paint, bit of a clean up, sorted out some of the uh, roof issues and that's really much uh, as much as we've done got a little bit of guttering but i've not spent huge money trying to render the property and, and and doing all that sort of fancy stuff i've cleaned up the driveway and that's nice and tidy now i don't particularly like crazy paving but i didn't want to spend the money on new block paving and i've put a nice little brick wall there at the front i also put cctv on my properties the purpose of cctv for me is just so that the tenants feel safe and that everything is being recorded externally in case there were any issues like that. Let's have a look around the back of the building. So we're at the rear of the property and I'm really happy with how this has turned out. You can see behind that we've done a three meter rear extension under permitted development and we have a flat roof and it looks really nice and it's given us that extra space to create the kitchen diner. Um, Property's been painted. I've put CCTV up here as well. Little patio behind for the tenants to enjoy. And I've also put down some artificial grass so that I don't have to have all the headache of the maintenance of gardening. A uh, bit of shingle down the sides and then completed some uh, fence work as well. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. It's a really nice space for the tenants to enjoy. Set of patio doors there as well so they can access the garden. Uh, new windows up the top. You'll notice the roof is, is all uh, uh, renewed and cleaned and that's looking really nice as well. So if you don't know about permitted development, I would encourage you to go online and research what you can and can't do via uh, permitted development. It's a, it's a right that allows you to do certain uh, extensions or loft conversions without needing planning permission. And it's a really good feature if you're looking to get into property development um, or uh, in property investing. So if you're gonna do a job, do it properly. With fencing, I like to put in really good solid fencing that's not gonna fall down and it's gonna last a long time. And the way that I do that is I use concrete posts which are cemented into the ground and then I put a concrete gravel board all the way along and put some really high quality fencing in that can be changed. These panels, if you have any issues, they can be taken out and they can be replaced. Adding CCTV to a property is an extra cost. I choose to do it because it's a deterrent from people that want to try and break and enter into your property. Something along these lines. So I hope you've enjoyed following my progress here on this property. I'll now be moving on to a loft conversion on a property that we've purchased at auction, which is over in Beckenham. Hopefully you'll get to see some of that process and the progress that we'll be making over there. Um, I've really enjoyed this project here and it's worked out really well. Uh, property investing can seem really daunting for a lot of people, especially if you're gonna add in trying to buy a property from an auction as well, which can be really risky. I've done another video, which is all about due diligence on auction legal packs. So go and check that video out now. Um, the link will just be up here and, and that will safeguard you if you're trying to buy a property at auction. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe if you like the channel. Um, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload. 
and I'm looking forward to showing you our progress over at Beckenham.